And what a huge game this is at Longmead Stadium today for both these clubs, Tunbridge Angels and Chelmsford. Chelmsford going into the game on the back of three defeats and Tunbridge on the back of four. With Tunbridge fans looking to end this uh, mini run of defeats. The lineups, four changes to both sides. Chelmsford first, they're without both their normal centre-halves, Winfield and Aluwu. So in comes Spillane, their assistant manager. Also added to their side is Dada Anite, 16-year-old Freddie Hockey and Tom Blackwell. And for Tunbridge Angels, no Parkinson or Lovett through injury. Brian Barrett is suspended and there's one optional change as Wood comes in for Olatardi. The other players to be added are Fielding, Hudson and Joe Turner, who was unavailable at the Welling match last week. Huge game for both clubs, could be a pivotal match. And we're now underway at the Longmead Stadium. The ball played over to the left-hand side for Tunbridge. It's headed forward by Chelmsford. Here's a throw. Jerry O'Sullivan playing in the left-hand side of a back four today to deputise for Craig Brain Barrett. Chelmsford play it back. Oh, it's gone straight to Ricky Modest. A chance for Tunbridge to score. Oh, it's just wide. Well, that nearly fell so fortunately for Tunbridge. Here's O'Sullivan. Ball played into the middle. Chance out for Turner. Tackle in on Turner. Oh, that was a... That was a rather heavy challenge coming in there from Tom Rate, the Chelmsford skipper on Joe Turner. We hope Joe Turner's all right. It certainly angered the Tunbridge players and some of the Tunbridge fans as well, shouting off, off, off. He did win the ball. It was a clean tackle in that respect. But did he catch Turner afterwards with a uh, high foot? Well, the referee will be the decider. Very early in the game to make such a big decision. He's calling Rate over now. I think if it was, if it was ready, he would have probably done it by now. So it's going to be a yellow card, I suspect. And we'll still be 11 against 11. Referee just taking Rate's name. So what colour is the card going to be? It is a yellow. You hear what the Tunbridge fans made of that. But the result of it is a free kick just outside the D. Referee just making sure the wall is back the required 10 yards. The fact that the wall is right on the 18-yard line tells you the free kick is probably 28 yards from goal. Two candidates, the left foot of Loft, the right foot of Beer. Which one's it going to be? Referee blows the whistle and it looks like it's Beer. He's running up to take it. Oh, just over. It was dipping, but didn't dip quickly enough. Free kick from Tom Beer, just in from the right-hand touchline. Well floated in, goalkeeper punches, and punches it back towards his own goal, and it needs Spillane to head from under his own bar and out of play for a corner. Chomsford's uh, corner then from the right-hand side. Four players all jostling for position around the penalty spot. In it goes. It's Spillane with it. Off the bar. Oh, Henley was beaten. The bar has come to Sunbridge's rescue. Oh, ball then to Modest. Back out to Fielding. Fielding floats it in. Little header from Turner. Yes! We can forget about the goal drought now. Joe Turner has given Sunbridge the lead after 23 minutes. Sunbridge Angels 1. Chelmsford City nil. Nice little touch from Modest. Left-footed ball in from Fielding. Turner back to goal, flicking it over Dylan's head. With delight from the crowd. That's four games worth of relief coming out there. Dada Anite now for Chelmsford to the left-hand side. Jackson across the face of goal. Could have gone anywhere. Comes towards the far post, a shot which hits the roof of the stand. Goal kick. Here's O'Sullivan. Left-hand side. Down to Smith-Joseph. What can Tunbridge do with this one? Can he get a ball in? He can get a ball in. It's Tommy Wood's near post header, which goes wide. This is Isaac now for Chelmsford. Back to Isaac. 
And the half-time whistle blows. Tunbridge lead at the break. Tunbridge 1, Chelmsford 0. Chelmsford getting away in this second half. Getting us underway. No changes personnel-wise for either side. Long ball from them. Headed forward by Tunbridge. They head it back in. And there's Loft with a clearance away. But it's straight to a Chelmsford player. It's Isaac. Gets it out to the left-hand side. High ball over the top of the penalty area and out of play for a goal kick. Here's Blackwell now, right-hand side for Chelmsford. This could be dangerous. Little touch from him to Dada Anite, to Cameron James on the right-hand side. Here's Blackwell again. Blackwell, left-footed ball in towards the far post and the header goes onto the roof of the net. And Angels still lead. Chelmsford making a good start to this second half. In it comes. Headed out by Tunbridge. Good defending. There's Isaac. Out wide to the uh, left-hand side. And a turn and a shot in straight at Johnny Henley. But Chumps are putting all the pressure on in these early stages of the second half. So what can Tunbridge do with this throw? It's... Uh, Taken by O'Sullivan. O'Turner rather crowded out. Oh, he's managed to get the ball to O'Sullivan. He gets the ball to Turner. Plays it through to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, can he get past the man? Can he get a cross in? Here he goes. Oh, cleared away by the defender. Anything could have happened there. O'Sullivan and Turner working very well on this left-hand side to get the ball across. But couldn't beat the defender on the line. Henley to take this free kick for Tunbridge. He's gone straight to Blackwell of Chelmsford. Plays that ball through the middle. This could be rather dangerous. And it's a disappointing touch there from uh, a chance there coming in from Jackson. It's the leveller for Chelmsford. The former Premier League striker finishing without much power. But the placement was perfect. 1-1. One, one. Tunbridge are making their first change. Olatardi is going to come on. Smith-Joseph is coming off. Will this be the change of shape? Will he put Wood and Olatardi up front together? Looks like it might be O'Sullivan going over to the right-hand side, having collected some instructions from the dugout. And it looks like it's a switch to three at the back for Tunbridge. This is James to the right-hand side for Blackwell. Blackwell, the ball in. Oh, near post header coming in from uh, Hockey. It comes to James again across the face of goal. Oh, that just evaded Sherring at the far post. It's a chance now for Tunbridge. It's Olatardi going through. Evades the challenge. Could he have gone down there, Olatardi? Here's Joe Turner with a chance. It's deflected wide. But good attack there from Tunbridge. Desperate to get this victory. Free kick just on the corner of the penalty area. Tom Beer with it. Does he try and aim for the head of one of those players at the far post? Or does he go for goal here? He curls it in. And the goalkeeper gets it away, James Dillon. Beer to take the corner. Right-hand side. And he goes to the far post. Miles is up there. Oh, and Bay evades everybody. Goes out of play on this near side. So I'm running out now for uh, Tunbridge, to, or either side really, to get this victory. There's Turner. Olatardi. Hutchinson in a bit of space if he can find him. Plays the ball forward to the right-hand side. Decent cross it all, looking for Hutchinson, but it's taken by the goalkeeper, James Dillon. And Chelmsford would get the ball away. Will they fancy a late winner? James Dillon to release this ball. And there goes the full-time whistle. Points are shared. The goal drought is over, at least for Tunbridge. And the runner defeats this as well. A point apiece, Tunbridge 1, Chelmsford 1.